Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel, All About BI. In this video, we are going to quickly discuss about one common use case that all of us will be coming across. So, so the uh, use case is like this. We have a container in data lake or blob. Inside that, we have a, a folder uh, in, in case it is a, a hierarchical namespace, right? Or data lake storage, right? You will have folder inside container inside which we will be interested to see if there are certain wildcard files uh, fi files found matching with the wildcard for example we want to find out uh, if there are files with extension star.csv or .csv uh, or we want to uh, search for a particular name of file means we can do if if the name of file contains data load what we can do we will use the wildcard name as data load star so basically we have to check if there are files matching the wildcard file pattern file card file name or file pattern okay this is the requirement how do we do this in uh, data factory um, or synapse pipeline normally we will uh, we we can use uh, wildcard file name in copy activity in the copy activity source we will be allowed to use wildcard file names okay but the problem is in case uh, there is no matching files found your pipeline will not fail for instance, I have a copy activity, I have mentioned uh, wildcard as star.csv in a particular folder. When my pipeline runs, there are no files means, the copy activities will still succeed. It will not uh, um, fail the pipeline. Okay. Uh, in such scenarios, uh, there is a possibility that the activities that are next to copy activity might get executed. Right. Uh, in if your use case is to fail the pipeline, if there are no matching file found for the mentioned wildcard right how are we going to do that that is what I, we are going to discuss in this video all right coming to the pipeline so the first activity would be get metadata activity i'll show you my uh, folder structure i have a container called azure file system azfs inside that i have a folder called input folder and I am not mentioning any file name in the data set. This is the source data set of the uh, metadata activity. So what I am going to do, I am going to check uh, if in this input folder, uh, I am going to look for certain pattern files or files matching the wildcard pattern. Okay. I will show you what are the files currently present here. So inside Azure file system and input folder, I have three files, uh, two files with the name test and one file with the name data-1.csv okay this is what uh, this is how my folder looks like and what i want to do is i want to just to see if there are file matching with the name test okay if there are files i'm going to do some activity if not i should fail the pipeline that is the requirement so this is the uh, source data set for get metadata activity so what it will be giving me is all the child item name basically all the file names and i'm going to use a filter here this filter activity will go about the child items which are given by the get metadata activity so uh, it, it will check the file names written by get metadata activity and it is checking uh, the file name okay item dot name this is the name of the file if it contains test then it will filter that file name otherwise if there is no matching file it is going to fail the uh, or it is going it is not going to return anything to the filter okay that that is how it is going to work basically it is check it is checking for the keyword test in all the file names written by the get metadata activity okay so the next uh, uh, variable or next activity is i am assigning the count of matching files okay based on this i am going to do some um, check okay so here if you see the set variable expression it is a very simple expression uh, filter activities output it will be an array okay this value is an array the whole uh, set of array is nothing but matched file names okay the filter activity i am mentioning test uh, as the keyword so it is going to check uh, if there are files with the name test 
if there it is going to return the file names in an array called value array okay so the length of the value array i am checking basically i am checking the count of the files okay and i am converting it into string because uh, we are going to assign it to a string variable called matched file count all right so that is this and if condition this if condition um, is just checking if number of files is greater than zero or not okay so using the expression greater since we have assigned the matched file count uh, value to a string variable we are doing a type cast here uh, for int okay so this variable of matched file count will tell me how many files were matched and if it is greater than zero that means that i have certain files matching my wildcard pack if it is equal to zero then it is going to uh, tell us that there are no matching files found in case it is zero what we are going to do we are going to uh, go to the false part and the if condition and then we are going to fail the pipeline saying file not found with the error code 404 this is the uh, this is how the pipeline works so i have already run the pipeline for the test uh, keyword i'll show you how it works and then i'll change the keyword and again run and i'll show you how it works okay so currently there are three files data hyphen one dot csv test dot uh, xml test dot xsd okay these are the uh, file names currently present it is written by the get metadata activity and filter activity this output if you see we are just filtering out those keyword those file names with the keyword test okay if you look at the output we have two files matching the uh, keyword test so inside the value array you are seeing two files okay one is test.xml another is test.xsd okay this is how filter returns so as you can see here the va uh, all the matched files are returned in the um, array value so the uh, next activity will check the count of uh, or number of items inside the value array that is what we are doing here so if you check the set variable activity it will say the matched count as 2 and based on this count if it is equal to 0 then we will go to the false part if it is greater than 0 it will go to the true part that is what we are checking here if it is greater than 0 it will be the, the output of this expression will become true that is why it will go to true part of the if function if it is not greater than 0 it is going to the false part of the uh, activity or false part of the if there we have added a fail activity to fail the pipeline okay so since it has already run for the test um, keyword i'm going to give a, a different keyword for which it will fail i'll say maybe star dot or i'll say dot um, py we are going to search for certain file names with extension dot py uh, I don't think we have any matching file there, uh, so it should uh, fail the pipeline now. I'll just fail, debug it. All right, so the pipeline has run now. Get metadata activity. We are seeing uh, three items: CSV file, XML file, and XSD file. And then filter activity just checks if uh, there is a file name that contains .py. Okay so if you look at the uh, value array it is empty there is no matching file found okay and then set variable will have the value uh, zero because matched file count is zero in value array uh, and hence if condition has uh, executed the expression in the if condition is evolved to uh, i mean evaluated to false and then in the false part we have the fail activity so fail activity says file not found and error code is 404 in case if the if condition is true we can add uh, some activities like copy activity or data flow or whatever according to our logic here okay this is how we fail the pipeline if uh, we cannot find certain files of certain pattern if we want to check if there are files matching uh, the reg regular expression that we are giving or wildcard expression that we are giving right then this is the way we do it uh, let me know if that helps uh, if it is understandable or if you have any questions let me know in the comment section thanks a lot uh, to all the subscribers and viewers keep watching keep supporting